Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Growing Up in Australia. Y'all know I like to watch these Growing Up in Australia videos. Before we jump in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh my god! Growing up in Australia, so I'm Australian as you might have saw by my last video if you watched it and if you didn't go back and watch it I'll leave a link in the description if I remember this But these are just things you know when you grow up in Australia If you knew, if you know these things then you're obviously Australian and if you've done these things you are probably Australian But I'm not saying that we're not the only ones who do this because we definitely aren't but you know Fairy bread, oh my god When you nah, get those of course. delightful triangles of like just dipped in um Oh, sprinkles is just the most delightful thing that an Australian can experience. And if you haven't done it yet and you're Australian, what are you doing? How did you eat? How are you even here right now without doing that? I don't get it. What about the game of... Yeah, I've, I've never tried fairy bread. I want to try fairy bread, though. I think fairy bread would actually... I think I would like it. But at the same time, I also think a part of me wouldn't like it. So it's like... I'm 50-50 on it. I just need to shut up and try it, basically. I just need to shut up and try it. Heads down, thumbs up. Oh, when the teacher <laughs> said you were in class. Okay. Let's paint a picture in your head. So let's put a picture paint in your head. Paint the picture. You're Give in class. Yep. You've, you've done all your work for the day. The whole class is finished. And then the teacher says, let's play heads down, thumbs up. Every child is excited out of their head. They yep. really love this game because it's the... The funnest of any game. Oh, it was just the best feeling when you got. S same in America. Same in America. Heads down, thumbs up was the absolute funnest games. And you had your fair share of cheaters in this game. Your fair share of freaking cheaters who always. He was supposed to be down, uh, closed, but they just. They opening their eyes, looking at your feet. You can't see. They looking at your shoes. What kind of shoes you got on? And then they, they're cheaters. They're just basically cheaters. But I used to love me some heads down, thumbs up. That was the game. So not only Australia and America, we absolutely love that game. To when you chose the right person and then you got to go up and then you tap people on the thumb. Like it yep. felt good when you got tapped because it's like, oh, I get to go tap this person. Oh, I swear to God. I snacks. swear to God. That's all I need to say. Oh, the bunny <laughs> snags were the best thing ever. <laughs> oh, the bunny sausages. Bro, I need these goddamn bunny snags, bro. I've heard way too many absolute great reviews about them. Way too many incredible reviews about these bunny snags that I have to try with. Oh, with the bread, and you have your favorite sauce of barbecue tomato. Some have mustard, I don't know why they're weird. I like but, mustard. Oh my god, it's just the most delightful meal ever. Like, who even goes to Bunnings to just, you know, shop for tools or whatever? <laughs> they go there for the snacks. Oh, me, oh, I feel like one right now. They are like, it's like they custom made it to me, like, perfect. Oh, it's just so good. The no hat, no play rule. Now, if you didn't have a hat, you can't play. If you didn't finish your lunch, you can't play. You need Ooh. to finish your lunch before you can go and play. And you need oh. a hat for you to go and play. And it was just a, it's just a classic. Everyone knows the no hat, no play rule. It lives in Australia. It's ne it's yeah. just, it's just a basic rule. Now, talking about... I'd heard about the no hat, no play rule, but I hadn't heard if you don't finish your lunch, hey, you can't go play. That sounds like some at home stuff, but at school, you could, you didn't have to finish your lunch to go outside and play. You just got to go play. But Australia said, nah, you're going to eat this goddamn food. Y'all going to eat y'all lunch before y'all get out here and start playing around. Spiders about more animals. Um, talking about daddy long wings, those things are like everywhere, but like they don't hurt you. They look yeah. dangerous as fuck. If you don't know what it is, you're like, ah, it's why not? But like, yeah. when you know what it is, it's like, yeah, well, I'll just pick them up and throw them away because it's just a little yeah. spider that just has... The tiniest things in the world, they can't even sting you. The least, the least scary spider, you you see one of them and you're just like, oh my god, go away. It's not like, ah, it's like, get out of my room. It's crazy. Now if I saw a daddy long legs, I probably would not enjoy it. Uh, I, I, I do not want to see daddy long legs, but as a kid, right, you just pluck them off the house. And they just sad thinking about all the torture that we put daddy long legs through as a kid. Because as a kid, I'd grab it. You just pick off all of their legs. I was, I guess, I was a torturous kid, bro. 
uh, and I didn't even think about how the daddy long leg feel. I just thought about picking these legs off of that joker. Uh, but yeah, now as a, I would never touch one now. I would never touch one. But as a kid, I guess I was less fearless. You were annoyed? I was, I was more fearless. I was more fearless. God dang it. So you just, it's just, yes! So oh my god, that, that burst my eardrums. Sheesh. I also gonna have to edit this to edit out the curse words. Cools. Okay. Instead of that, imagine this. You're inside, you feel like you should go outside and do something. You call your next door neighbor, you go for a walk, and then you go to your backyard, you could wander around for a little bit, playing some fun games, and you step on one of these little they get in your f Ooh. and they hurt like a We we call them chiggers. It feels like you're getting stung by a snake. Uh, and then you, you look on your foot, you just you already know what's there. You already know that you gotta pull that one out and you yeah. can't play, you gotta tell them to go home because you're in that much pain. Or a green ant bites you and you're like, oh me, it feels like it's a, a like fire on my foot. A oh green, like, green ants are the worst things I think I've ever experienced in my whole life. It feels like uh, you stood on a needle. Oh next up is a chili bin. Oh uh, this one's pretty cool. Okay, no. An esky, um, everyone knows what an esky is if you live in yeah. Australia. The thing that keep your beers cool. Just kidding, I don't drink. That's illegal. <laughs> we are just going into a lot of, um, I'm trying to put an image in there, every one of your heads for every single thing. Okay, so you go up to, you go up to your local shop and you go Imagine. shopping for a bit. You grab your stuff, you grab your groceries, you grab your clothes, whatever you want to do, whatever you're going shopping for. You go back to the car, all happy with your stuff, and then you remember you actually need to get in the car. You sit down and you feel off burn in your back. Oh. And it's, you, you feel it. It feels like you just got touched by the devil. But yeah. in reality, it's just a seatbelt in yeah. that hot sun. No. Oh, feels like you. I haven't felt it to the Australian extent. I haven't felt it to an Australian extent, to the Australian level. But I definitely know what he means. That burning hot seatbelt, Jesus. You just do not want to touch that seatbelt for the love of everything holy. Yeah, the devil's touched you. McDonald's is Macca's. Mosquitoes are mozzies. Barbecue is a Barbie. Afternoon is the Arvo. Australia is in Australia. It's Australia. Australia, not <laughs> Australia. 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 Because yeah, yeah. you can't be bothered to just say the whole word. You just need to abbreviate everything. The petrol station is servo. The bottle shop, bottle You just abbreviate every single word. Let's go for another scenario. There was one thing. If you didn't have entertainment for the afternoon, there was one thing you could always rely on. The hills hoist. The, the clothesline, the one that swings around. You're woo. Oh, hours of fun. You can jump on that thing and swing around like it life depends on it. It's the best thing you can ever experience in your whole life. Even though I've said that 30 times this video. But I'm <laughs> so hanging out with your friends again. You just... And then you go out and you start, you know, you wander around. And then you see who can walk across the road for the longest. While it's burning your feet off. It's Ooh. scarring your feet. You won't be able to walk for the next three days because of the burn on your feet. Because you're trying to impress your friends by walking on that hot... Bloody bitumen. Oh. You know, you live in Australia when you can experience a flood, a fire, oh. a tornado, and you go to a long day at the beach. All in one week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is it a hot day in Australia? Either that way. Sneed is so loud. It is. What about going to a pool? That is the best feeling in Australia when it's a 40 degrees day. And you just there to dip in that cold pool and just cool off, chill out with your friends or even by yourself. It can be a chill out, it can be a social. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Alright, that was fun to uh, get the chance to get to react to. Uh, definitely going to have to meet, like I said, going to have to edit that, get the curse words out of there. But uh, growing up in Australia... Walking on hot effing pavement just to impress your friends. Nope. My feet weren't built for this stuff. My feet couldn't handle it. Uh, but it definitely does sound like growing up in Australia was dope. That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy Daniel. Out.